So now I'm going to show you some of the carding and this is an action I normally take outside because it is quite messy, you get a lot of fluff that you have to throw away. However, it is so windy outside, the fleece will just blow everywhere and I will not have the right conditions to do so. So I'm doing it indoors today. Um, and I just want to show you, I have here a little brush that's for cleaning the carder. I do it on a regular basis um, after I've done most of the carding or if it, if it builds up too much. And then I have this tool and that is for getting the bat out of the carder itself. So let's get started. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. So, first of all, I take some of this washed fleece. Let me just move it back a bit. And normally I have it straight in front of me. Then I pull these bits apart, take little chunks like that. Pre manage it basically, pre-align it if I can. And this is not going to be easy. As you can see, this is quite stuck together, all of it. And that's what makes this carding extremely difficult and the spinning. And then I try to align it as good as I can up close to the brush here. Because I want all fibers to go into one direction and most of the time none of this happens. Sometimes I can still pick out some of the grass that's in left in the fleece and some of the bigger knots. Here you go, you see here's a bit of grass. So this is quite con time consuming. Um, and you can do it with hand carders. Well, this amount of fleece that I've got, I'm not going to ever do with a hand carder. I sold my hand carders. Right, and then here I have, oops, I now actually need to move this so that I can turn the handle. So. Now you can hear it working. And you can see now here it's trying to comb everything. And you most probably have to do this process a few times. Just for one bat. So once again, try to get the fibers pre pulled out the finer and the better it will spin the less bumps you have so just try to pre get all of these out important is not to to fill the machine too much because that also will have not a good effect on it and here this brush here I'm lowering that down just to press that fiber in a bit more, compact it a bit more. And you can see here bumps coming out already. And this is just the first round if you like. 
and I will most probably repeat this two or three times to get it into a spinnable bat. Here again, more seeds and grass. Now you see why I do this normally outside. The finer you can get this, the better it will be. But I don't want to waste a lot of the fibre. Oops. just for the sake of the work try keep it clean and together I oh, see this is not going to do anything I can take that out it's too bumpy and sticky here we have knots take that out So this is not <clears throat> not a quick process as you can see. We want the fibers to go all in one direction. I think I've already said so. That's the aim and to get all the lumps and bumps out. Some of these are already very felted. That's why I break it up to make my life easier. I've learned the more processes you do beforehand the easier it is. I've learnt it the hard way. Otherwise you just end up with a lot more work in the end. And it's more time consuming. But it still is faster than if you do it by hand, as in with the two small hand carders, which are basically like this brush, just a bit bigger, the paddles are bigger, and you do it by hand. Um, this is still quicker. This sheep's locks. Are beautiful. Except for they shouldn't have sat around for that long. In the grease. That was what the problem is. Normally if you get a fresh sheep's fleece. You don't have as many problems as this. 
And it's all due to the fact that it was sat with its natural oils in a bag scrunched up for about 12 years. Um, that's what the problem was. But you can see this is a good example, actually, to say it's not all lost. You still can work with it. It just takes a bit more preparation. And maybe the outcome is not the finest wool, but you can still use it. So don't waste stuff. By the way, these little... Bits don't get thrown away while the grass seeds and so do, but not the bits of fiber. The birds will get those for lining their nests. Those will go onto the ground. And the rest will go into the compost. Okay, this bit here is no good. Some of these are a bit felted as well. Even though I used cold water, I don't know what conditions this really was in, in where how it was stored or anything like that. So let's see this lock. It's giving me some problems. There you go. Just take it easy. Don't lose patience. Simply don't lose patience. sticking to my hands as well. Not very helpful. So basically this is a bit of a boring work, quite boring and quite fiddly and but don't let it put you off because as I said a fresh fleece, a natural fresh fleece will be so much nicer to work with than this. And you'll have an, you'll you'll have joy doing it, and then you can even put other fibers, mix fibers into that, like silk, or even glitter um, bits, nylon, whatever you need it for, or you think you're wanting to do with the fleece. <clears throat> uh, 
and it's like with a lot of things or a lot of handcrafts in general preparation is everything the better you prepare the easier and the better your work is going to be and most of it is in the preparation then of course you've got to have a bit of practice and a bit of skill oops Okay, here we've got a bit with loads of grass and seeds in. And it's quite clumpy and stuck together. See another bit of grass. Sheep do live in the outdoors, they don't come clean. <laughs> and every natural wool starts out this way, but normally it's done in big mechanical mills. So the already carded bits you get from shops, they're done in, in big mills. It's pilling. I've got some pilling going on here. Ascertain whether it's worth keeping that bit. There we go. So now you get an idea how this is done and I'll switch the camera off and I'll come back when this reel is loaded enough from the first bat and we'll make the first bat and then I'll come back to you and show you that. Okay, so I don't want to push the bat too much. I've got quite a bit in here. Let me just show you. That's what it looks like now. Um, you can go to the top of these combs, but I won't because I want to run it through once again. So, now this is where I need to find the little metal bit here. And I take this long tool guide it along in here start lifting it out and actually I'm going to be using some scissors oh, these are not the ideal scissors Go, just lift this out. Lift this up.
for... Lift off. Oops, the wrong way around. Should have done it this way around. And this too is quite sticky. So let me just use this. and the brush And sometimes it can be a bit of a pain to get this out. Especially because it is quite thick, this bat. I didn't intend for it to be. So it's not really rocket science, just once again patience is required. And there you go. So this is one bat combed for the first time. So what I will do now is push this back. <clears throat> and I will run this through a second time. So for that I need to push the brush back down again adjust that and then start going through and I think it's having a hard time so okay let's just rework this And 
actually thin this out a bit. There you go. Down. So you see what I've been doing? I'm just pulling this now, thinning it out. So basically pre-drafting, if you like. old bits out the way. Uh, there's still bits of grass and so on that's coming out. These are the fibers that are sometimes too short, they get stuck in here. So I'll just discard them. Right, so that's the second round. Let's get that out now again as well. And this time it will be easier. Ideally, you don't want to cut. Ideally, what you want to do is just lift this till it breaks. Oh, I'm not doing that. There we go. Right, so let's 
Let's lift this out. So that's the second bat and you can see how nicely the fibers are already coming together and I think I can actually leave it like that. I don't need to go through a third time because this will draft quite nicely. So that's one more bat done and this is the bit that was still left from the first bat. Let's see, shall we just do a quick comparison? You can't see a difference that it's gone through once more. Right, so let's just do this one. Lock this down again. There we go. And draft this out a bit thinner. There you go. Now because this is a lot thinner, this might just lift out completely. Like that. There you go. Sometimes the edges need a little help. There you go. Once again, if I have a very fine wool fleece, then I will card this maybe three or four times 
before I use the bat for spinning. See here are stuck little pieces. They can come out. That's just little pieces stuck. They're too small, too short. The fibers are too short. Let's see if this is short fiber or just caught. That's short fiber. And there you have it. This is a thinner bat. As you can see, you can almost see through it already. So ideally that's what you want your spinning bats to look like. A little thinner than the one I've just done, but I normally pull them out afterwards anyway. Yes, and it still has a few lumps and bumps in there. If you hold it against the light, you can see. And they will come out whilst spinning. So that is how you card the, yeah, the, the fleece. Just quickly wanted to show you also the cleaning process. So first thing is you use the same brush to brush out the bristles because seeds and dust and all sorts get trapped in here. Uh, move that down a bit. And then this way. remove the dusty particles here along the bar and you can use your old um, bits that have been used it will attract so just rub that along there it will attract the dirt and bring it right out there you go and then you you move this and you brush your small <coughs> roll first. And then you take out all I haven't got that much because I've done it a few times already. You take out what's left and then you do, then you keep in the same direction still and you brush with the bristles on this one, against the bristles here, with the bristles on the big one. That's where you maintain the bristles and the carder until you've got both sides more or less clean. You can't always get it 100%. But that's how you do that. And when you store your poking tool, make sure it's child safe or you don't harm anything with it so and then you prepare it for the next brush you can also run it through like that bring it down just so that the bristles are also brushed through from the carder 
case anything else is trapped in there. Oh, I see there is quite a bit trapped in there. So I'll press it down hard. And there's quite a bit in there that I hadn't suspected. So lift this away. Okay, and clean it once more. Oops. just show you see this is all that came out of that little bit of the pushing down bristles so that's how you clean your carder and then you make sure take your old fleece again and run your fingers along the side and along the stakes here just to attract any other dust because that's the bits that you're going to be throwing away anyway so that's how you do that hope that has helped see you soon